Hi everybody, my name is Sam Pedro. In today's video, I will be talking about the book, The Geography of Jobs, which was written by Enrico Moretti. In this video, I'm gonna summarize the book and share a few highlights and a few things which I learned. This was a really interesting book. It was published in 2012, and Enrico Moretti, he's a professor, an economics professor at UC Berkeley, and just a really fascinating book. So kind of his main thing he teaches in this book is that um, there's really three distinct Americas. So there's a part of America that is getting richer, that these are innovation hubs, cities that are just thriving and recruit great talent and have great jobs. And then there's a part of America that's declining. So this is like Detroit and Flint, Michigan, uh, cities that, you know, 20, 30, maybe 50 years ago were, were doing great. They were prospering, but now are on the decline. And then there's a part of America, the third part, that is just kind of plateauing. It's kind of just right there in the middle. In the book, he explores why this is happening. So why are these rich cities getting richer? Why are these poor cities getting poorer? And what is causing those things to happen? And he does that by looking through the lens of jobs and education. And, and it kind of comes down to that the rich cities, these innovation hubs, which he calls them, they attract talent and they attract jobs. And these poorer cities, they're, they're talented people leave. They might go to college and then they go to one of the innovation centers. So this is kind of the, these are the main ideas that are explored in this book. Because he's a professor, there's a lot of research and studies which he has done. So it was a pretty research driven book. Uh, I wouldn't say it's super dry, but there are just a lot of facts and figures that are kind of thrown out at you. But I actually found a lot of it to be pretty interesting and pretty eye-opening really. He spends a lot of time talking about manufacturing and how this has caused a, a big divide. So he looks at like Detroit and other cities in the Rust Belt and these economies were, were prospering 30, 40 years ago and that was because their economies were built on manufacturing and it was growing and we were producing so many things and then as is pretty well known in the last few decades a lot of that manufacturing has been offshored uh, to places like China and the Philippines and so that has caused those communities they haven't been able to recover from the loss of those jobs. One thing that he said that was interesting is that the United States is still manufacturing a lot of goods and at the time of the book in 2012 America was manufacturing just as many goods as China and it's just something that's kind of overlooked um, in, in the, the media. Uh, but the things that America manufactures now are more high-end products, so biomedical equipment, large machines, um, jets, all of those are still manufactured here in America, and that part of the economy is thriving. Another idea I found very interesting was something called the multiplier effect, and in his research, he, he looked at high-tech jobs and when these jobs are created in these innovative hubs, what effect that has on the surrounding community. And what he found is that for every new high-tech job, there are five more jobs created in the community to support that job. So for example, I just looked at Microsoft in Seattle, and right now it says that Microsoft has about 55,000 employees in the Seattle area. And so what that means is that those 55,000 jobs uh, have created around 278,000 more jobs in the community to, to support those jobs. And two of those five jobs will be professional jobs, so lawyers and doctors, and another three will be more service-related jobs, so the waiter or the store clerk. And so just a really fascinating principle. And he contrasts that with manufacturing jobs. So they have a multiplier effect as well, but it's 1.6. Uh, new jobs for every job created. So these these innovative hubs, they they create more jobs the more high tech jobs they create, and that just tends to bring in more talent. It raises the standard of living of the community. It raises the wages, and it just just an interesting effect um, on these innovation centers. The big conclusion of the book, and it probably doesn't come as a big surprise, is is education. So these innovation centers, so the richest cities, have a lot of college educated people living in them and that acts as a magnet and so the more a city has college educated people, the more college educated people will want to move to it. And those cities on the other end of the spectrum, they tend to have low amount of people who went to college 
and that will kind of just um, remain the same, if not decline. So it doesn't matter if the community has a college in it. It, it, it matters how many college educated people actually live in that city. So there's plenty of small communities out there that have a university or a college, but those graduates aren't gonna stay in that city most likely, and instead they go to, um, they flock to the bigger cities. The last final thought I have is he says that America is still the greatest country in the world at attracting top talent. We have been for, for over a century now. And basically some of the top talent from other countries, they, they flock here to the United States because of the opportunities here and, and they flock to the, the innovation hubs. And he says how America's economy is just being run on these, on these foreigners who are coming now who bring education, who bring hard work and innovation, and that is just continuing to make America such a prosperous place to live, at least the innovation centers of, of America. That was my summary of the geography of jobs. Again, it was written by Enrico Moretti. Found it really interesting, had a lot of interesting things to think about. And yeah, so hopefully you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video.